Hello, you grumbling generals, and welcome to the War Room. This is the Rogue Rifler, and we are being invaded on all the fronts. Look at that front. There's lots of dudes, and there's more dudes. And there's a surprising lack of dudes down there, but... Where is it? Where is it? Oh, God. There's lots of dudes. So we are in the end game with... Eight turns left before we can declare victory, and the AI is sending all the stuff. Actually, there's some dudes. I knew there were dudes down there. <laughs> so, the dudes are coming, and can we fend them off? Now, the real question is, are these dudes in alignment? Because there's some scallywag spacers and some dudes that have a surprising amount of spacer equipment. Let's see, this is... what's his face? Fairhane, okay. NPC factions. Oh, they're at war with the spacers. So actually, this is a bunch of dudes fighting another bunch of dudes, while our dudes watch those dudes. It's... it's a lot to keep straight. So... Where do we even start? Um... These guys came in and attacked our stuff. What does this do? For each hex for 10 turns. Yowzer. So can they get here? If I come down the road, I don't think they can um, push into the capital. Right? Cause, yeah, that's, that's how they're getting there quickly, right? This is... It, it takes 50% more movement, so they won't be able to get here if I come down and meet him out in the field. I think my army could just... Well, that's a lot of support units. I heard you like biomancers. Oh, they are... Yikes. Okay, so, turns out, Bearhain is the synthesis, which means that they have some unfortunate units like an avatar. Granted, they don't have a lot of them, and if I just bomb the living shit out of it, I don't think there'll be a problem. But there could have been a problem. So we're gonna go out and meet them. Yep, so they can't get to our capital, or not to our capital, our city. That used to be someone else's city. And we're going to just sit here and take back our territory next turn. Now, this is pretty open, not going to lie. Um, I think the play was to come over here and take this city. Um, so we're going to group up and do that next turn. Got some new tech and some more stuff. That probably won't ever be used, but hey, it's, it's okay. Um, what is going on? Well, I kind of just want to sit tight here. Um, I could also attack this, but I think all these units can come in and hit my hit the city if I go out and attack that. So ideally I should maybe march this army forward uh, to help deal with... Oh, they can even reach him from this turn actually. Okay, so let's do that. Guy can come here. Guy can come here. Oh, uh. Okay, so this guy can attack. Um, we're just gonna attack two stacks versus one. Should be fine. And then this guy's gonna come in and hang out here. I did it in that order because otherwise. We would not be in a nice defensive formation. Now, these guys could come over and attack us back, uh, and they might win. But then we'd have we'd be able to retaliate here. So I 
don't think this is threatening us. Yeah, that's fine. We're all fine. And we might as well just pump out more trenchers, right? Where are we at here? Hmm. We give them plus two armor. Yeah, we're going to rush that. Get the armor going. And I have plus 158 fracking cosmite. That's, that's crazy. Uh, I have an elite center. It doesn't actually look like I can build skirmishers. That's a little frustrating. Or specialists? Hmm. So, but we can make trenchers with six armor. With a self-heal and good damage. So we're going to start pumping those out here. Uh, we're going to save that. This guy is going to join up. And let's take care of all this nonsense. So, I have the energy to rush some of this stuff, right? 300 energy sounds good. So we can get these guys in a new stack and continue building. Let's get a, a tank. The Uba tank. And now that I've seen the light... Oh, I can't do this. So... This mod doesn't work with the sapper right now, but I did manage to fix it for the upcoming update to the, uh, the Volatile Units mod. So now the sapper will be able to deploy advanced, um, what is it, advanced, uh, inf not infrastructure, advanced uh, trenches. There we go. That's a word. That's how you use it. <laughs> uh, the other thing to do is to keep pumping out these monitors because they, they're OP. So we can upgrade this guy. Gives us 36 to work with. Um, I kind of want to do a budget unit, maybe a budget sapper? Question mark. Yeah, let's do a budget sapper here because we're also building units up here. And we can build budget Budget sappers with ludicrous amounts of HP. Sounds great. Oh, that's right. These guys are coming down to form up more stacks. I actually should probably just move these guys here. What do I need? I've got support. I've got lots of armor. I could probably just do some range stacks. Though I am out of Cosmite. So I think this will have to do. These guys are going to uh, sit here and get ready to reinforce. I do have the energy to start upgrading these guys into destroyers. Think about that in the future. Where is this guy going? He's coming down here to form up another stack. Just fine. I can just explore for the memes. Okay, we were not attacked. Uh, these armies need to kind of reform and figure out what they're doing with their lives. Um, I spent all my Cosmite already. So let's think. We've got lots and lots of Plague Dudes. Um... probably want at least two Xenoplague units in each stack. This guy can sub out for another destroyer, so we have two kind of main stacks. This can... looks like it needs a support unit. This one also needs a support unit. Though these bulwarks are pretty much support units, am I right or am I right? So... The plan, I guess, bring a heal over here. We can even upgrade this. We give ourselves a basic heal. We might as well put another destroyer in there. Uh, let's see. And we can take back our territory.
This is kind of a defaulty stack, so we're gonna head back and hang out. So everything's fine in the world. Um, I'm basically waiting for them to make the first move over here. I don't want to push into their territory and just get surrounded by this. I'd rather, you know, have all these nice roads to use. So we're just going to station ourselves over here. That is their capital. So if I can, where is their commander? If I see their commander, this is a surefire way to get a kill. Um, these guys are just waiting. These guys, you know, writing is documentary and moving out. Now, I could attack this. How ballsy are we thinking? So, call the hive. So, we'd be slow, but we have range superiority. Uh, they don't really have tons of great units outside of their heroes. So, I think we could win this uh, and take this. And this is their commander, actually. So if I can pull their commander over here and fight them, uh, that'd be fine. Uh, the issue is that this looks like a major contingent, and these are all trash stacks. So the other thing to do would be to relocate this army to help deal with this. And I think that's the better play. Uh, I could probably win this, but then this army can just waltz in and... I could take out some guys here, and if this goes horribly wrong, I don't have anything to defend, right? And we don't need to actually take territory, right? We are doing real well, right? Plus 21 sectors. So I think the play is to defend the gold tier sector, so that way we keep just pumping, you know, we just get, keep getting more Cosmite. So we're at 150 right now, which is absolutely massive. And just kind of play reactively. It's not the best, but... Oh god, what is that? Ugh. How... How much of... That's a lot of stuff. Okay, there's a big army over there. It's a lot of army. Um... This is our, like, mediocre stack. Wait, they have one of these things? How do you get one of these things? I'm curious. So... I think we defend the Link State Router. Um, and this mechanical stack, we're going to try to finish it up pretty much next turn to be able to push back down here. On this front, again, we're just waiting, right? Like, these guys have to make the move. So, we'll let them. Over here, it looks like we're just building more stuff, which is not a problem. So, this guy is becoming a new army, military research. Might as well get some more strategic ops, because I, th I think that's the only thing that's going to matter at this point. Uh, I already have all my Doctrine slots. So I guess we go down this tree. Pretend that we're going to use it at some point. Um, we have a military... We have a, a full setup over here. So I could make units. I could make like armored Valkyries. Um, the engineers would be pretty neato. You give them double heals. Hmm. Can I give anything to these guys? Well, they'd have immolation, reactive kinetic battery, but I don't have any money. So do I want to make default armies? with these guys. I have plus three armor, which is kind of disgusting. I could make Valkyries with five armor. That doesn't sound too bad. So let's do that. We're going to make some melee squads over here. 
Uh, we're just building trenchers for days. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I could actually prep some of these setups. I didn't build any of this stuff. Um, I'm going to do this. Uh, the sleeper xenome. So that way we might be able to get more... Uh, we might be able to get more xenoplague units to just help snowball a little bit. And... gives us extra damage buff, so that's actually pretty good. So let's see. Somebody else declared war on us. Let's go to the Situation Room and watch as the enemy does things. Okay, so they moved in, but they were too chicken to attack. Someone else declared war on us. This is a major reinforcement, but this is our mechanical army. They're backing off, actually. So that's pretty good. We're down over to blue, but I don't think I've ever actually encountered this guy. So now we're looking at yellow. It's massive armies. Yeah, he's dead. He's not going to retire, but we did find out what all these armies are doing. Are they at war with the autonoms? Looks like it. I think that's what's going on here. Okay, so they're killing autonoms, and this guy's dead too. There's a big army down here. Um, they should be marching on us, I didn't see that. So now we are over here with purple. It's purple's move, what are they going to do? The front's pretty good, and if they mess up with their commander, they're all dead. So right now, it looks like they're just shuffling their units around, which is not going to win them the game. Oh, they moved up slightly. And we've got some reinforcements at their capital. But nothing's really happening on the front right now. Do we get to somebody else? Oh, well, hello. There's some activity. So they didn't attack, which sucks for them. I guess it's not too bad. They're all in three stack uh, groups. But the reason why I never uh, bring more than three stacks to a fight is if I win this fight here, these two stacks are pretty much at an inherent disadvantage. So now let's look at the southern front. That's an army. And our little pustule that's just exploring gets killed. There is no justice in war. So this is looking kind of scary down here, but we should be able to get our mechanical stacks online unless we get massively energy drained. So it's all going, it's going, right? Okay, we made it. They're telling me that they're getting upset. Got some new stuff. Uh, let's see. I'm not doing anything right now. I think we actually, this is time to complete. Yeah, so we have seven turns till victory. Um, what do we do? So this is their most organic stack. We can definitely fight and win here. So I think we can do this. Right, that gives a lot of them um, uh, the infection. We can do it again to, I think this army? 
So this should give, hopefully will give us some units. Might not. And we're gonna fight this, I think. Yeah. Um, we should be able to auto this. There's not a huge threat, I don't think. And I wanna save our like combat time for fights where it's gonna matter. They take my 30 Cosmite Engineer. Like, what is what is he doing? How does he die? All right, we're going to do it. I'm sorry, but I don't know what my support unit is doing to die. You know, it's like I'd understand if a Bulwark or even a tank died, but why a support unit? It seems very counterintuitive because they're like, they're supposed to be behind everything. All right, well... Enough of me bitching. Welcome to Battle Cam, where we look at our opponent's army and laugh as it's grossly inferior to our Devar mechanical everything. So this is a lot of melee. Like, um, the scavengers are all melee. Uh, they're decked out with re reactive shielding. Uh, they have pulse grenades and they avoid augmentation. So they can throw grenades that have a good chance to cause dimensional instability which weakens us to kinetic attacks, which is a lot of what melee armies uh, do a lot of. So that's a lot of saying a lot, which I did again. It's great. So 10 out of 10. Anyway, so they have a lot of dimensional instability with their to augment their melee. And they've got a few of these hidden units, which are going to be super annoying because they're ranged snipers that ignore armor, which is kind of terrifying. Um, Pretty much all the same over here. And then I saw a bunch of these bug dudes. I don't know where the rest of them are. There are a couple of them. And they're pretty similar, except they have the stasis pocket inducer. So this is a, a kinetic strength chance to remove an action point, And it's on all attacks, including their battle vomit. So that's pretty nasty AoE punish. However, they're all melee. I've got the range advantage. It's like having the high ground. It's that good. So we're gonna get the network links networked links or network levels up, sorry. And that gives us tons of buffs. Basically bonus range, bonus damage, bonus accuracy, extra stagger. It's it's pretty neato. And I want to position myself so that way my artillery is kind of a little far back. Um, I don't know how far back I want to go. Well, they're all melee. And they, they attacked me, so they have to push into me. So I'm kind of thinking that we can back up a ways and get into our ready state and our tank can go out to meet them along with our bulwark uh, the bulwark is probably gonna chill back here with its overwatch and this guy is gonna hide behind here and give our artillery a buff we have another bulwark um, I think it's going to hug the edge of the map and overwatch as well. So that'll receive this flank pretty easily. They can shoot this guy. He has reactive shielding. Um, doesn't look like the sniper can hit him this turn, which is good. On this front, there's this middle. Uh, we're going to advance our armored column a bit. Uh, go on overwatch because... These guys, they have Agile Overwatch, which means, you know, they get all of their attacks off, um, which is pretty cool. And let's see, kind of want to avoid the AoE punish. Actually, there's no AoE punish here, so I'm just going to drive forward and hopefully they'll shoot him. This artillery unit could probably come forward a bit, though these things are a little scary because they have... Uh, arc attacks, which could do some decent damage here. I think I want to move it over here so that way it can maybe project 
uh, do some damage over here if they get really close. We can give it the customary motivated buff. And I'm in no rush to kind of fight that, so tanks are going to move up. Uh, we're going to come over here and support with some overwatch. Our artillery... Um, don't want to be super fast and loose with it. It probably won't get shots in next turn, but you never know. Motivate it because that's kind of the that's kind of a shtick. Um, this guy's gonna cover the attack, and that should be good. All right, we had mass insanity. That's pretty nuts. Did I just, like, lose my entire stack? Kind of concerned. Oh my god, really? This is so fucking dumb. Okay, uh, that's a big bullshit. Um, what do I do about it? Well, I want to heal all my mechanical units with my monitors. Um, God, that's so stupid. I'm guessing that's like a big high tier tactical op, but that's still really dumb. Um... And I want to heal the bejesus out of the support unit. So that's why the support unit died. Um, that's fine. The insanity should wear off this turn. Yeah. So it's a little unfortunate that that worked out that way. Um, but I think we'll be okay. There's no point to like... Um, here, I should try to just slow them down a bit. So that's what we're going to do. Um, oh, that's out of range. So yeah, we're going to we're gonna try to slow them down. So that way we get our full action next turn. Can I kill that? No, I can't. Um, I could try to ram him. The extra damage bonus. Okay. This guy got yoinked. Uh, I'm gonna try to, I'm just gonna come over here and kill this. It's probably our best move. And... Uh, do I have any sort of mass bullshit? Do I have mass counter bullshit? I have a tactical nuke. That doesn't sound too great. So I'm kind of concerned what's gonna happen. I think we're okay. I don't want to bring this thing too far forward. Um, that's 20%, so it's a 45% hit chance. Okay, we did it. Uh, our artillery is actually okay over here. And so is this guy. Okay, so this flank did okay. Um, we must have just rolled really poorly on the RNG check. So 65% chance to basically obliterate all this. That's pretty good. I have a cannon shot here. And I can finish stuff off. Or I could just gun this stuff down. Let's get the cover. This guy can run up and not do anything but go into overwatch that's fine uh we could run forward with this and do a, like a big aoe shot try and force them to deal with me by grazing you know okay um i don't have any like super ops that i feel like i want to use most of my unit none of my units died 
I don't think any of them are in danger. Okay. Wow, they ripped into that. Okay. Yikes. Not all is lost. Um, we would be able to resurrect him if it was an issue, and it might actually be an issue. So let's see. That's not a good shot. Okay. So we're going to have to save him. Um... That's fine. That's what the resurrect kits are for. Uh, the main thing is not to kill everything else, so we have a chance to save them. So that's a kill. Um... You can cu concuss the sniper. Can I like Xeno Xeno beam him? Target Xeno plague unit. I don't think it counts as a Xeno plague unit because it's not cool. Um, I could do a breach protocol, but there's no way it's going to survive all that. So, why bother? Um, this guy's gonna have to move forward. That's fine. Uh, what can I hit with this guy? I can kill this thing. So that's probably the play. Then we can start shooting at these units and missing horribly. It's great, I swear. So I might as well just nuke him. Actually, I'll take care of their back line. I think these guys over here can take on this one unit, but I might be wrong. Um, Okay, this guy, 80% flank, 80% uh, hit chance, does it get better? Doesn't look like it. Okay, and we have a 45 hit chance from here. Let's try to make that a little bit better, and that was probably not the play. Okay. This guy is fine where he is. Now let's re-examine what's going on over here. Looks like we can just kill stuff. Okay, so that's another unit dead. Um, that looks like a kill. This guy can run forward, and I can cannon this guy. I think he's a bigger threat. Right, this guy has tons of HP, so we're fine. Okay, so this is definitely dead, but I should be able to restore it and then, like, concuss probably this melee unit while I get a chance to heal it. Okay, so. Um, this guy could attack him. Can I get a firing solution? Doesn't look like there's any other options. We're just going to move forward and take space. And I might as well pop our heal. 
This guy needs to get into range. Uh, looks like he could take one attack. He has five armor. I don't think it'll be huge, a huge issue. I might be horribly wrong, but should be able to get in range and heal that next turn. Uh, over here, we're just going to mop up. And I might as well run this over in case I need a concussion. Um, can I just like chain CC this guy? Okay, so we CC'd now, bring it up later. I'm just doing this so that way I can resurrect my other unit. Okay. Um, I do have a concuss shot. 100% chance. This guy just lost all of his stuff. So let's heal ourselves and let's just kill it, maybe? Or, I don't even have to kill it, it's concussed. Uh, I think we can just kill this guy. There's no reason to keep him alive. Okay, this still has its concussed shot, so we're gonna run it over just in case I need it. All right, we have finally used the resurrect kit. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And we can even uh, we can even run over and heal it for maximum bonus points. It, that's a lot of bonus points. Now this thing's dead. So we've successfully used the resurrect i'm proud are you proud okay and we should be able to kill this Let's just auto that that's a lot of tanks but we have artillery which should be really good against that maybe they really want to take out my back line holy cow i will not stand for this injustice I should actually be careful because these units can just make all my units suck. So, let's see. There's tons of tier 3 nonsense. Uh, we're going to get all the network levels going. Hopefully there won't be any mass insanity. So everyone has all of their buffs. Uh, we're going to send the Bulwarks forward. Uh, I hope that they get basically disabled. And uh, the tank's going to be behind them to hopefully actually take damage. This guy can probably come back here and this unit probably hide over here. Same thing over here. The bulwarks are coming forward to just be uh, disabled. There's really nothing I can do about it other than just let it happen. Uh, this guy is going to come back. Probably just a space. Get his massive range. And this guy is going to run all the way back here. And our tank will hopefully be able to... Uh, live out its namesake once the bulwarks are disabled. Uh, let's see, so they have a main army here, main army here, another army... Oh, it's just it. So... This is where we can position a little bit more aggressively. Uh, but the main goal is just to get the... Uh, Stupid Void Tech tanks to disable units that I don't care about. Um, where does this guy want to go? Probably somewhere over here, maybe. I'm trying to double dip so I can like, if they push here or they push here, I can I can be useful, but that might not be the best. Um. This would be a great spot, but then I can't ready my weapon. Uh, we're going to push up here. We're going to live dangerously. Okay. Hey. 
Okay, they're disabling the tanks. They're desyncing everything except the artillery, which is what we want. Yikes. Okay, so the artillery is safe and sound. That looks like an absolute... Oh, quantum avatar. Frack. Um, I don't think I can AoE bomb that. That is disgusting. This fight just became a whole lot harder. Uh, what do I even do to that? Ah, oh, that's going to be really rough. Our tank will do okay, but it's been disabled because it's fun. Uh, this guy probably needs to heal. Has reactive shielding. I think I can just block their movement if I come over here. Has this thing been disabled? It's dimensionally desynced, so it shouldn't take a shouldn't take a hit. So I'm going to use these units to kind of blockade their advance and focus on these two units. So I think. This guy is, well, this is closer, so he's probably the bigger threat. Ah, uh, this guy is low, so we're going to do the self-heal. And I think I can finish this guy over here. Start gunning that guy down. Uh, do all of these have quantum avatar? Holy cow, that's annoying. That is just absurdly annoying. Because uh, I have very little, like, single target attacks. This guy's been disabled. Um, is this guy stagger immune? He's immune? Does that... We're going to have to try out this experiment, but if it interrupts, that's going to be a huge problem. Okay, so it doesn't interrupt him, or, which is good to know. Uh, we didn't do a whole lot of damage, but we did something. This guy is immune as well, so we should just be able to keep firing. That's hilarious that actually it keeps firing. Um, okay. This thing can't do anything. So we should try to get the kill here. Uh, it doesn't look like that's going to help. Uh, let's try to gun down this thing. <laughs> it's just teleporting everywhere um, but we're fine we're okay okay uh, this that guy I don't think is too dangerous so we're gonna drive over here Is there any point to healing our guys? Uh, we haven't taken a whole lot of damage yet, so I think the answer is no. So we're going to try for the YOLO shots. Oh, we got one of them. This guy's going to go on standby. This guy can't do anything. I'd like to finish this unit. Uh, this is... are you stagger immune? Uh, doesn't look like he has any stagger resistance. Unless I'm missing it. Okay, so shooting the quantum avatar with him is a really bad idea. I definitely want to blow up... Uh, I definitely want to blow up that unit. 
So sh can a shredder bomb do it? No. Um, the launcher does 15 damage. I don't think that'll be enough. He doesn't really have many action points, right? Like, how much damage could he deal? Yeah. Um, I think we're fine. This guy is just going to go and hang out. These units can't do anything. I think the play is to put a breach on that guy. You know, and to chill. Uh, this guy can't do anything. Uh, can't be targeted either, so we're just going to run forward. Uh... Okay, our, t our artillery moved quite a bit. That's what we have. That's why we have nanites. All the nanites. Good old juicy nanites. Um, that should take care of most of the damage. Uh, I'm going to save this charge in case I need to use it next turn. This guy is fine. It's fine. Um, and now that we know that we can just bomb this crap. Um, I think these guys can just trigger melee because they're immune to damage. So we're going to back off in case it, you know, fires a little erratically. Okay, it looks like we got knocked out of range. So it does a range check each time. It's a little unfortunate. Um... So these units are actually kind of in a pickle over there. Uh, this guy should just run over here. Okay. I'd like to just pick up and move, but... Can I kill it? Okay, what? How? How in, unstable are we? Just teleport. It's no longer at least one level of stagger resistance. Minus 20% damage resistance. Okay, so they're they're not having a great time. Uh, that's that's what's going on over there. Okay, and we're just gonna run at them. Hopefully, not lose anything. This guy can just run as well. Okay, so this is kind of in position. That unit might be in trouble. Uh, this guy definitely needs some assistance. So let's try to keep him alive. Um, Oh, yikes. Okay, that was definitely not fun. Um, so the great question is... Okay, so I can resurrect the monitor. Um, so this is salvageable. And I can still 
bomb the absolute bejesus out of them. So we're going to back up and I'm going to try and AoE the shit out of them. Okay. Um, that's working out. This guy should be able to AoE all of them as well. And of course it grazes. Um... Okay, so that takes care of most of the threat. Um, so, the concern is... I need to resurrect stuff. Uh, so I'm going to try to knock this guy out. Okay, so that's good. So we should be able to gun down this guy. Uh, this guy... Oh, there's another unit we can kind of concuss and chillax with. This guy has to like run all the way over here. Um, how dangerous is this thing? Uh, not too dangerous. So let's get, th th we're gonna get this guy in position for a resurrect. I could just resurrect this. Um, or I could go in and attempt to blind this. Okay, we did not get the blind. That's unfortunate. So we should be okay. Um, I don't think their area is going to kill anything. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, let's see. We have this guy over here, he can't quite get there yet. Um, do I have another disabling shot? Yes, I do. 100% hit chance. Might as well take it. This should be dead. I said it should be dead. Jim, why isn't it dead yet? Uh, we have three tanks that all can't shoot at the air unit at the moment. But they can ram the crap out of this guy. Uh, probably want to kill this guy. Okay. God, this guy's having a rough time. Alright, so he's going to run over here, get in position, and this guy's going to run over here, and get in a position to resurrect this guy. Uh, this guy actually has machine guns. Okay, so that's all we needed. And we can get the Resurrects up. There's one. There's two. And now this guy's like, what happened? And he's going to have a bad day. Okay. Well, that would have been dangerous if there was another stack involved. Uh, but thankfully, we killed them all. This guy's gonna head back. Ah, uh, what else is going on? There are detachments here, there are detachments there, there are detachments everywhere. This looks like a mess. Oh, we're gonna try to get an army. Off the conveyor belts. Uh... I can't rush anything this turn, so we're just going to run in, I guess I can build another unit here, I think we'll be fine. So,
Does this guy not count as an elite unit? Oh, he's a tier 3 specialist. Interesting. So, my choices are tank or artillery. Um... Well, if anything, if I have learned anything, it's that you can't really go wrong with more artillery. So we're going to rush the artillery next turn, and it'll be... Well... Ah, uh, or we could push out this turn. I think at the very least I should be upgrading units this turn, especially these guys. Let's give them... It's like, nice range damage buffs. And we might as well keep pumping out the, uh, the budget foreman. So what do we do against all this? I could fight it. It'd be nasty. Um, that gives us some defense. These guys have a uh, very low colony militia. So what happens if I fight this? What are we up against? We're up against melee. We're up against... What is this guy? They upgraded his grenade. That's pretty, uh... It's pretty meme-worthy, if I do say so, myself. Ah, uh, this looks kind of terrifying. So I could fight this stack. I'd probably win here. Um, but I'd take casualties. And then... Or we run back. Uh, so I could definitely get out. I could definitely get out away from there. Or if I want to be real pricks, I take this city and then force them to double back. Uh, there's just so much pain and suffering I'm seeing here. Well, why don't we fight it? says low risk. What does that mean? Does that mean we lose half our units? Uh, we lose our support unit for some reason. Uh, man, I don't want to just keep... You know what, we'll take some casualties. It's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Um, there's no immediate threat. This guy has a self-heal, so we should be able to run forward and do this. Apparently this is the risky battle. So let's fight it. So this is the unupgraded stack, which probably means it doesn't want to fight head-on. It wants to sort of be a supporting stack. This guy needs to self-heal. Um, yeah, let's get in position. Let's self-heal. Uh, these are unupgraded units as well. So it's mainly, can I utilize this stack? Uh, let's see. We also have this guy. This guy should be literally nuts. So he's going to get in position. We're going to buff him so he's absolutely silly. Uh, I'm going to bring in... One of these guys to so just sort of intimidate, I guess. Just kind of soak damage and be, you know, be a general nuisance. 
This guy's gonna come over here because this army is gonna kind of retreat and form a line. And we're gonna give our hero a big morale buff. These guys are just going to come in and overwatch. Actually, they're just going to go in defense mode. Um, and we're going to kind of back off. Again, this is just so that way I don't have to trade with this stack next turn. Uh, I could sit this guy here to take some fire. I don't think they can have AoE attacks that can reach that far. So we're just going to back off. I think that's everybody. Okay, that was a mistake. Um, do I have a Resurrect anywhere nearby? I have one here. So I guess that's something to keep in mind. This thing has been injured and probably is not, you know, a great uh, unit to just keep out here. Uh, let's see. This guy should just tear these guys apart with his weapon. Uh, does he have stagger resistance? Should have stagger immunity, right? So this guy won't be able to knock him back, and he'll get maximum cleave damage. Uh, I've been bamboozled, right? This guy's immune. I thought the knockback required. Okay, well, I messed up. Is he dead? Um, they're going to have a hard time hitting him, but I kind of really needed him to do something important, and he didn't. Uh, if I come over here... Why is it telling me I want to target my own guy? Okay, so I can go for a stun. That's a pretty nice deal. Um, I could do the same thing here. Go for a stun. Okay. So that cuts down a lot on a good chunk of their incoming damage. This is like our anti-mechanical unit. So we should probably bring him over to help out. And this guy needs to head over here when he can. So, this thing's on fire. It's already used its heal. I don't have many other heals around here. I do have them on this thing. Well, actually, no, I don't. Um, I think we're just going to back off of this. It's kind of served a little bit of its purpose. Okay, so we hindered that. These guys have activated. This army is still a ways off. So maybe we can come over here and cuss that. That's good. Uh, we did pretty well, I think, in terms of positioning. So we're just going to kind of set up to receive these guys. I'm 
trying not to stack up too much. So that should be okay. Uh, we learned our lesson. Okay, so that front is not doing the best, but we should be okay. This is pretty much a kill. And, man, I really can't like... Okay, so this guy doesn't counterattack me. So I should be able to kill both of them. Okay, so it's at least somewhat effective. It maybe wasn't super effective, but it was okay. This guy's pretty much dead. Okay, we took care of that flank. Um, I'm going to try to bring my anti-mechanical unit in. Okay, so that guy's dead. We've got a resurrecting dude over here, but we've taken a little too much damage. Um, I only have one resurrection, which is kind of terrifying. And if I want to heal anybody... Ugh. So I want to do that because this guy is dead otherwise. Um, I don't have any cover. Okay, so that's a nice kill. This guy should probably run the heck away and get healed up. Okay, so that leaves us with this guy to kind of open up. Um, I don't want to get this guy too close because obviously I don't want him to die. I have to keep in mind this guy still has his rocket. Oh no he doesn't. He has his thrust but not his rocket. Um, I don't have any cover so we're just going to run back. Uh, this guy has a resurrect, but he has to get all the way over there. So, for right now, he's just going to chill. And do I have... I think we're going to use the Valkyrie to... Drop, fly over here. What's the range on this? It's three. I want to basically blind them, so one, two, three. So we're just going to jump over here and then give them blind. Okay, so they almost killed the Valkyrie, that's fine. Um, we're gonna advance. Disable that guy. Uh, this should be able to mind control their flying unit. Uh, want to take out their pug if possible. This 
this guy still have his heal? He does, so I think he can cleanse that guy. Um, I don't know if there's much I can do about it. This guy is just on fire. She's literally one shot. Uh, we're just gonna do the counter attack when we can. Maybe they'll try to shoot me. It's not a good shot. I don't want to just kill my Valkyrie. Uh, this is the dude with the uh, with the revive. So we should be in position next turn for it. This guy's pretty much out of the fight. Okay, I thought they'd, uh, you know, he can he can clear the he can cleanse the effect. I think, right? This guy have a built-in cleanse? Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, that's why I didn't do it. Okay. Well, he's dead. Uh, this guy is taking damage. Can we get there? Yes, we can. Perfect. I think they're pretty dead. Yeah, maybe let's not run into the fire. I'm actually kind of concerned that this unit might be in danger. Uh, what doesn't actually tell me the hit chance. Um, we'll just back off. It'll be fine. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Okay, we got another Plague Lord, and we got a Pustule. Uh, this was our retreating unit. We're going to reform a stack here. That'll be fine. This unit can't do anything. So we're doing okay. Uh, now is this fun battle. Um, this is the do I run or do I stay? Decent number of units. I've got... Well, I've got a lot of resurrects. Um, even this guy is a resurrect. Do I have? I do have clone. I, I do have colony militias, so it actually kind of makes sense to back off. 
uh, and force them to fight me on my own territory. Uh, and then I can reinforce as needed. So let's see. These guys are pretty stocked up. Um, we could take one of these armies down south. We almost have another fully mechanized stack ready to go. So maybe the play is to move them and kind of reinforce this front. Uh, let's see. I don't have a ton of Cosmite right now. We could do a budget bulwark. It's fine. Let's do that. So we're all healing. Uh, that's their commander. Well, we might as well move back. Though they were running from us. I'm not too concerned about this stack in particular. I think we can do this. They can't reach the capital in time, so we should be fine. Or actually... If we don't move back, they could actually get around behind us. So let's do something like this. Uh, these guys are all basically just waiting. I'm trying to take this, I think. That's the plan. It's definitely overkill, but... It's overkill, but we should be able to take it and also take this eventually. Over here... This looks like a big fight. What's our... Well, we get no defensive... Well, we do have a def like a... Somewhat of an advantage. So we're actually going to back these guys back off. Um... Kind of reinforce when... Oh, that's right. I was going to just... Nerp. These guys are just holding tight. Uh, we're building probably a, a core vanguard stack. Or we could do these like Valkyries. Let's do some Valkyries. Why not? I don't think there's really anything that matters at this point. Ah! Uh, oh, let's get a teleporter relay. That might matter. Guys, run over here so he doesn't get attacked. 
Uh, oh, these guys can build sexy robots. Well, that's great. Uh, okay, let's see what happens on the military zone. This is our first uber battle. Oh, shoot. Um, I meant to manual it. Let's see how the AI does. But I'm going to probably manual it. Or not. Apparently the AI knows how to use artillery. Okay, well that was that was a lot of time saved. So I think that's one of the core problems is that the uh, the AI on the strategic layer evaluates whether it can win a fight by using like the army power because uh, there's plenty of times where they'll attack where they have like overwhelming army power, but like in a in a relative balance they're just going to get obliterated. I think that was just a ton of support units versus artillery. Uh, let's see. Is the swarm doing anything? A key question. They're really backing off. Okay, well, they're not like coming at us in a way that I thought they would. Um, looks like they're fighting the Autonoms. And I think that's basically it. This is their commander, and this is their capital. Um, we could just utterly destroy this front and refocus our efforts on the south. Okay, so they are moving in. What does this stack look like? That's pretty unupgraded. Okay, they are killing the stack we left behind. That's fine. Okay, they're going to take this one as well. not a huge deal right now, especially since I can just counterattack. This city needs to be reinforced. Um, I think we're doing okay. All right, I think that's it. We made it through, I believe, two turns. We're at T minus six turns on the countdown. There's still plenty of armies out there. See what happens next time.